Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. It is the middle of September, which means it's about time for the monthly Slim Kirby Central update, where I basically talk about my YouTube stuff, my Twitch stuff, and a bunch of other things that have become relevant and stuff you should be expecting over the next few weeks until next month's update. So, uh, let's go ahead and get things started. The first thing I want to be talking about is, as usual, the YouTube stuff. Uh, YouTube is where I am the most active, so naturally I think that is going to be the uh, basically the section I focus the most amount of content and emphasis on. Uh, so on my YouTube channel I've been working on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Mario Kart DS, and I also just finished a playthrough of an SNES game called Spanky's Quest. As for Ocarina of Time and Mario Kart DS, you can definitely expect those to be continuing as normal. And uh, not really sure when they're going to end per se, but I'd say that they'd probably end maybe closer to the end of October, maybe uh, closer to the start of November. I uh, don't really know, I haven't recorded that far in advance, I have recorded in advance for sure, but not to uh, those extreme levels. And as far as Spanky's Quest is concerned, since that project has finished up, I am going to be replacing that with another project starting next week, or maybe this week, depending on when I upload this video. Uh, but I'm going to be starting the Walking Dead Michonne DLC, like I said I would. Uh, I've been doing basically one Walking Dead season or piece of DLC per year, uh, but since there is no season three yet, I decided to just focus on the Michonne DLC instead, which did release this year, so I was like, you know, I'll just do that, and then I'll save Season 3 for next year, because Season 3 actually begins in November of this year, so it's not even out yet, so uh, that is going to be my plan of attack, so you can expect those to be uploaded on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, it's not going to be very long, uh, it's only going to be about like uh, 9 or 10 videos, and um, yeah, it's only going to be about 5 weeks, so it's not going to take a very long time. I just choose The Walking Dead for my October playthroughs because, you know, Walking Dead is kind of a survival horror type of uh, story, and um, I feel like that's kind of the most appropriate for October. Uh, but that's going to be the only kind of survival horror game I do this year. I know that uh, last year I did uh, The Walking Dead Season 2 and Plants vs. Zombies, but I don't have any other games uh, alongside Walking Dead. It's just going to be Walking Dead this year. Uh, but next year, maybe I'll do Walking Dead Season 3 in another game, kind of do another Halloween type of marathon thing. Maybe I could even get started with the Castlevania series, I don't really know. Uh, I haven't really played any of those games, uh, but that's about next year, that's not really about this year and what's coming up this month, so I'll focus more on that. And I think it'll really just be those three playthroughs for the rest of uh, this month and the start of next month. Uh, so I don't really have anything new to announce just yet. I haven't decided what's going to be the replacement project uh, for Walking Dead Michonne yet. Uh, for the replacement project for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, uh, there might be kind of a short project in between. Uh, but not long after Ocarina of Time, I do want to start Super Paper Mario. So uh, that project will be coming soon. I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, I've been getting in kind of a hype mode for Super Paper Mario for a while now. I've been watching some uh, uh, speedrun streams of the game. Uh, I'm not going to be speedrunning the game by any means. But just to kind of refresh myself on what to expect in the game. And uh, it's interesting. I think it's going to be a really, really interesting playthrough. And I am very much looking forward to it. Uh, because usually the Paper Mario games have gone very, very well on my channel. So uh, you can definitely expect that. That's probably not going to be out, though, until November and uh, I may actually delay it till the end of November uh, just because I kind of like having a project that kind of goes through the rest of the year and kind of starts the new year out as well and I think Super Paper Mario is probably going to be uh, the best project for that uh, so you can definitely expect that in the coming months as far as anything else is concerned I know a lot of people were very very disappointed about uh, Mario Kart DS being my selection over Mario Party DS now, the only thing I'm going to say about that is I've been telling you guys for a while that it would be either Mario Kart DS or Mario Party DS, and whatever project would be more convenient, 
and a project I'd be able to prepare for more easily, I'm going to go with that one. And Mario Kart DS just happened to be that game. I was honestly expecting that to be the case. I'm just not quite ready for Mario Party DS, but you have, do not have to worry because Mario Party DS will be happening this year for sure. Uh, it's definitely going to be starting before the end of the year. I don't know if I'll do another short weekend project in between Mario Kart DS and Mario Party DS, but regardless, Mario Party DS will be up and will have started uh, before the end of the year, and it should also finish before the end of the year. I can't foresee very many videos of that game, but I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens. Uh, but yeah, do not worry. Mario Party DS is coming. Uh, Mario Kart DS has been going phenomenally, and uh, the new capture card works great. I'm seriously not putting it off as much as you think I am, because I've been wanting to do Mario Party DS for so long. I know you guys have been wanting it for so long, uh, but it just made more sense to do Mario Kart DS. But I think that's been a great playthrough so far, so I really don't think I'm giving you guys the shaft by not starting Mario Party DS when I was initially not really planning to, but when it was a possibility. So I uh, just hope all of you guys understand that and hope you, fully you don't like uh, take it too harshly that I chose another game. But at the end of the day, it is also my channel, and I think I should have kind of the final say of what projects I do. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, basically two projects you can kind of expect. Uh, at the end of the year, uh, Super Paper Mario and Mario Party DS. As far as any other projects are concerned, I'm going to kind of keep you guys in the dark a little bit. I definitely have some ideas, and I'm really looking forward to those ideas. So, um, I don't think you guys will be disappointed at all. I'm really, really looking forward to the future uh, months of 2016. I think I'm going to try to end the year very, very strong, and it should be a good time. So. Uh, that's all I have to say about YouTube. I don't think I have anything else to say. I will have a small something I'll be addressing at the end of the video in the conclusion section. Uh, but um, I thought that was more appropriate bears for right here. So uh, let's move on to the Twitch part of the video. Okay, the next topic we're going to move on to is the Twitch slash streaming front. Uh, as usual, I've been streaming every Saturday night. I usually stream some kind of RPG or game where there's a lot of grinding. Uh, because for the grinding parts, I can turn on my video game music playlist, just have that playing. I can sit back, I can do some level grinding and talk to my viewers. I have a lot of fun during those streams. Uh, currently, I've been working on Pokemon Ultra Violets, a uh, game where you can potentially catch all Pokemon from the first three generations in a playthrough. Uh, you don't have to worry about any trade evolutions or uh, evolutions that might seem unattainable because of version exclusives. Every Pokemon you should be able to get in this hack. And uh, I've been working on that, trying to catch them all uh, because it's on retro achievements. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with that, trying to decide what my next RPG game is going to be. Uh, keep in mind when I say that, I'm not asking for suggestions or anything really. I will figure it out, and I'll go from there when I do figure it out. Uh, but I'm looking forward to what I'm going to be doing after that. And uh, in general, for retro achievements, I finished Bomberman Max, which was a really, really frustrating uh, version of Bomberman, to be quite honest. Uh, there was just a lot of really tedious and annoying parts, and it also made it seem like, how did people even finish this game? Because it was really, really hard and really, really difficult. Uh, but I was really happy that I was able to get all the achievements. I did only one of the two versions of the game. I did the other version on Retro Achievements afterwards uh, when I was finished with the first game on stream. Uh, so it's cool that I got uh, basically 1,600 points from uh, those two games. Uh, the game I want to kind of do next on Retro Achievements, which is kind of funny because I'm currently doing a Zelda game, and I also am planning to do the Legend of Zelda second quest on the uh, NES version of the game on stream. Uh, but I also want to do Minish Cap Retro Achievements as well, uh, because it's going to be a few years before I get to Minish Cap on my channel, so I was like, you know, I'll do like an early playthrough on stream. Uh, so you can definitely expect that in the future. Uh, there are some other things I'd like to do as well. Um, I'd like to do some DS game streaming. Uh, funnily enough, once again, I'd like to do uh, Majora's Mask 3DS, the 3D version of the game that came out not too long ago on stream because uh, I have a 3DS capture card now and that could be uh, one of my possibilities. And maybe I could just do some other, like, more recent games, games I don't have any immediate plans to do Let's, let's Plays of. 
I think that'd actually be a good use of my streaming time, and this is good. It's good that I'm thinking outside the box and thinking of some other ideas, uh, because I feel like one thing that I have a lot of trouble with is I have a lot of possibilities that I can do. I'm aware of all the possibilities. I'm just never sure what to do until I've planned it out down to a T. Uh, like my YouTube stuff, I'm never really worried about running out of games. I'm more so worried about what I'm going to do at a certain point, and usually I have to spend like maybe a few hours just thinking about it logically. Like, okay, am I going to be ready for this game? Does this game sound good? Do I feel like doing this game? Uh, usually, though, it does come together. With streaming, it's a little more difficult just because uh, I don't try to stream every day like I do upload videos every day. Uh, so because of that, when I'm uploading videos every day, I kind of have things planned out a lot more in advance. While with streaming, that's not really the luxury I have. I try to stream whenever I feel like it, uh, more so than just having a set scheduled stream time. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you can normally expect me to be streaming on Saturday nights for sure. I also feel that my weekday schedule is starting to open up a lot more as well, so because of that, maybe I'll be able to actually stream on weeknights again uh, more frequently than I have been able to as of late. As of late, it's really only been like Saturday and Monday night that I could stream, uh, but in the coming weeks I should be able to open up a few more days maybe I can get back to Wednesday scheduling again uh, that's kind of the hope that's kind of the dream uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens though uh, but yeah I am looking forward to the future of streaming I'd like to have some more ideas uh, figured out uh, maybe I will have some more ideas figured out by the time of the next uh, Slim Kirby uh, central update uh, but I think I am getting ready to move on uh, as far as retro achievements is concerned I did go down a rank, so I'm now rank 17th as opposed to 16th. I'm trying to hang in there though, I'm trying to work on some other games, so maybe I can actually turn things around and maybe make some more progress, but like I've said num numerous times, it's not really the rank I'm that concerned with. There are people at the top of the leaderboards who are really, really far ahead. Obviously they care about this way more than I do. I'm not going to try to uh, go into overdrive mode just to catch up. But I would like to definitely make some more progress for sure. Who knows, maybe I could make it in the top 10 after all. Uh, but that's just something we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to move on from Twitch and move on to another very small topic. I'm probably not going to focus on the website this time, but I will say a few quick things about Puddle Planes. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about very, very quickly is the Puddle Planes channel. Uh, there really isn't a lot to talk about or address here. Uh, there's work being done on the channel. We're trying to get things moving, trying to get things going on a project. Uh, but it's been very hard because it seems like, and this is usually the case, uh, not just for Puddle Planes, but any co-op channel in existence, when there's one person having trouble and they get that problem fixed, then there's always someone else who has trouble and they're trying to get that problem fixed. Uh, for a while we had some uh, people who had internet issues, uh, they fixed those issues, but uh, as far as the project we're working on right now, it's been difficult because the runner of the project, the person in charge of the project, uh, just recently moved across the entire country. So. Uh, Obviously, he's been trying to get situated there. He just now recently got internet back like a few days ago. Uh, so that's just something that happens. Uh, like I said, it happens with all co-op channels. Uh, we definitely went through a lot of that with Crystal Star Studio. Uh, it's just something you got to be a little patient with. You can't expect a co-op channel to have uh, daily updates unless they're just like super organized and they're just super smart about what they do. Uh, but we're doing our best, we're trying to get things moving, and we're also trying to get Puddle Community Nights moving as well, uh, which is basically uh, streaming on the Puddle Plains HD channel. Uh, every Friday we try to have a community night, and we haven't done that in a while. Uh, we want to get that moving again with uh, games like Town of Salem, uh, games like Mario Kart 8, Cards Against Humanity. Uh, there's a lot of different games that we uh, do community nights for, and we're trying to get them uh, more frequent than they are right now uh, so hopefully we can uh, start working on that as well but as far as puddle plants is concerned i think that's really all the updates i have to say so i think i'm going to uh, move on to the next thing okay it's time for the slim kirby star warriors shout out of the month this month i'm gonna give a shout out to a very very awesome youtuber 
a YouTuber I have a lot of respect for, someone who I've watched his content so much over the last several years, and just someone who I really, really respect on YouTube. And that's going to be YouTube user Some Call Me Johnny. Uh, he's a part of Brain Scratch Commentaries. He's also a part of the Super Gaming Bros, which is uh, a channel that he started with his brother Elliot and also his uh, friend Matt. Uh, and he also has his review channel, which is just, you know, Some Call Me Johnny. Uh, it's a really, really great review channel. He's a very informative guy. He's also a very fair guy, I feel like. I feel like whenever he reviews a game, he's very fair about the game. He kind of looks at it at a very interesting perspective. And it's just a, an opinion I can really, really respect when it comes to video games. And uh, I had the pleasure of beating this guy at MAGFest this year. And also got to see him again at MomoCon as well. And he is just a really, really cool guy. I want to definitely give him a shout out. Uh, even though he has like more viewers and more subscribers than I do, he is definitely a YouTuber that I think anybody should check out. He is just absolutely awesome at pretty much everything is that he does. I love his reviews. Uh, his work on Brain Scratch and Super Gaming Bros is also phenomenal. He's just a really, really cool guy and definitely one that I think that anybody should check out at least once. So uh, that is who I'm going to give my Star Warriors shout out of the month to. Uh, so thank you, Johnny, for all the work you've done on YouTube. You are a phenomenal and amazing guy, and just keep up the great work. Okay, so we have reached the conclusion of this video. I didn't really have a whole lot to talk about this time around. I had a few things I wanted to announce and bring up. Uh, but again, I uh, can't really predict what's going to actually be in these update videos. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of trying to play it cool for the rest of the year. Uh, I have some project ideas I want to get going. I have some stream ideas I want to get going. And if uh, anything new pops up, I'm definitely going to try and address it and try to do it. So uh, uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Uh, as far as like other YouTube stuff I do, uh, one-up unboxing videos, those should continue. I don't see any reason for those to stop yet. Uh, again, I don't know if there is actually an end date to my uh, deal with 1UP Box. Uh, those deals normally last like an entire year, and I think it has been an entire year at this point, but uh, I haven't gotten any email confirmation or anything like that, so uh, I assume this is going to just keep on going until I just kind of feel like I'm done making videos with, about that, but uh, regardless, those should still continue as normal. I should be getting a new box in probably the next week or so, so... You can definitely expect a video on that not too long from now. And um, as far as the Pokemon Go log videos, uh, it's the middle of September and I haven't actually done a new update for September yet. And there have been actually a lot of things to talk about because there have been some significant updates uh, since my last log video. Uh, but I think I will wait on that a little bit longer. Uh, just because, to be honest, I haven't played Pokemon Go in a few weeks. I've been wanting to, but... Uh, there's just been a lot of stuff going on, and especially here in Indiana, I don't know if it's been like that for everybody, but it's been like really, really bad and hot weather lately, and it's just been kind of uh, miserable whenever I go outside. So uh, I've been kind of trying to uh, scale back on that, but I do want to get back into it, and since the weather is starting to kind of move towards the fall season, uh, maybe that'll start to change again. The last thing I want to talk about in this video before I close this video off is I want to talk about something that happened this past weekend when I uploaded the first videos of Mario Kart DS. Uh, in that comments section, I made a huge deal about telling people not to comment on the fact that the um, audio levels of Mario Kart DS were a bit imbalanced uh, because I feel like my commentary voice was very low compared to the game audio. And, to be honest, after watching the video again a few times, I realized that the issue wasn't really even that bad. In fact, a lot of people thought the, like, thing wasn't really even that noticeable. Uh, so, in a way, I definitely overreacted quite a bit, and I wanted to definitely apologize for overreacting. Uh, not just in that instance, but also in various other instances as well. I feel like in a lot of uh, videos, I kind of go into defense mode very, very easily. So whenever there's like an audio issue or a video glitch or something, or if I ever get something wrong and say something wrong or I forget to talk about something or forget to do something, I kind of uh, go into overprotective mode and just kind of say, I'm aware I did this, please do not comment on this, don't comment on this, please don't comment or delete it. 
And to be honest, that's not really a good thing for me to do. I know you guys are just trying to help me, and I do apologize if at any point in the past I've seemed almost too defensive or too overbearing about all of that stuff, uh, because that is definitely not my intention. I don't want you guys to feel bad or like I'm mad at you guys or I hate you guys or anything. It's just, you know, like... I'm not going to go into a huge thing about this because I made a giant post about this on Twitter. I'm going to link to that post actually in the video description. So if you want to read that, definitely go ahead. I spent about like an hour or two working on that post. Uh, but basically when I do my videos, I try to make the videos as best as I can. And because I'm such a perfectionist, I feel like whenever I make a mistake, it's a huge blow to my character. And it's like I feel so bad for making the mistake that I almost kind of go into defense mode to kind of not so much cover it up, but try to defend my mistake. And I almost do that in such a condescending and uh, overbearing manner. And that's not right for me to do that because most of the time whenever I get a comment from someone uh, telling me about something, uh, you're just trying to help and I can't really fault you guys for that. So I do want to apologize for that kind of behavior. It's not like me or, well, it shouldn't be like me. I can't really defend my actions too much here because I've been doing it for what feels like years now. Uh, but again, I do appreciate everybody who's tried to help out and I'm going to try to tone down that very defensive nature of me. Uh, well, just trying to keep things fun and exciting for people, because this is not about super serious video game business. This is just for fun, and that's what these videos should be like. They should just be fun, and I'm sorry for trying to treat them like they're supposed to be like anything else, or not, not so much of that. Uh, I'm, I apologize for trying to micromanage the comment section and kind of get the comment section uh, to be the way I want it when... Honestly, that's not really fair to you guys. If you guys want to leave a comment about something, you should have that right to leave that comment. And I can't really, and I shouldn't really have any say in that otherwise. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really want to talk about. You can look at that post in the video description. If uh, I mentioned any sort of links or any other things, uh, they will also be in the video description as well. And as usual, uh, you guys have a good month of October, or, well, good rest of the month of September. Then have a good October, kind of getting ahead of myself here. And uh, I'll see you guys next month for October's Slim Kirby Central Update. Uh, thanks for your time, everybody, and uh, have a good month. Later, folks.